We're on our way to meet Jennifer. It started out with um, a series of phone calls. And the more she told me and the more she kind of un, you know, availed her story, it just sounded like, oh my God, so you're just gonna film and exploit this girl for everyone's entertainment. But I'll say that she called me and asked me, please tell my life story. Please tell it in a way that people will hear. And I find a way that like, I think this is interesting. I think people would wanna hear it. And so I went ahead and fulfilled her wish. Are you Jennifer? Yeah. All right, come sit in the front seat. Okay. Hi. So nice to meet you. Jennifer. Hi. Hi. Um, well, first off, I'm, okay. I'm glad. How did you hear about us? I just got on the internet and I found you guys. So just yeah. tell us before we take out, like, where is, what is this? Thing? This is a recovery home for drug and alcohol. I've been sober off crack cocaine for five years and five months. And I've been off alcohol for kind of three or four months, but I, I haven't really been doing alcohol, but I am a recovering alcoholic, so. And they let you be in a group home for five years? You've been in there for five no, years? No, I haven't been here five years, but I've been in group homes for like three or four years now. For, I, I, I'm doing the time, but I didn't even do the crime, you know what I mean? Yeah, you said that. What, what are you being accused of? Nothing. I'm not being accused of anything because I didn't do anything wrong. Nothing. Never. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. So... I have a whole story about my life. I was born and I inhaled meconium, um, which is feces. I inhaled my own feces inside my mother's stomach. And so I was rushed to intensive care for like 12 days and they shaved off my hair and everything like that. So my mom was like, where's my baby? And they brought and what's me- What's that called? Um, meconium inha inhalation. Wow, that's- Yeah. So that's what started it. So right. you started off uh -huh. Breathing in your own shit. Exactly. I I inhaled it, and they I, they I had asphyxiation, and they had to rush me to like intensive care for like eleven or twelve days. Tell them. And my mom had said, "Where's my baby?" And so the next thing I know, next thing she knows, they bring her bring me to her real quick, and then they rush me back to intensive care, and they had to they had to shave all my hair off and put it in my head because I kept pulling the the tube out of my stomach. So they put it in my head and because you know, I'm part Mexican, I have a lot of hair, you know what I mean, and Italian. So they had to put it in my head and everything. So then I lived with my mom in the ghetto and she was talking to my stepdad. He was officer in the Marine Corps. Right. So we moved to Washington State with him so tell them. and then we were living with him all my life and then they got pregnant. She got pregnant when, um, when I was like five or six years old. They had my sister and then we moved to Virginia. And then I grew up out there all my life, Virginia, North Carolina. I lived in Korea for two years. And I started singing and dance, acting and dancing at the age of four. So, so tell them this. Yeah. Why, why, why the story of the life of Jennifer? Why do you want this film to be Well, told? I've been a singer, actress, and dancer my whole life. I know I'm a little overweight right now, but it's because I take meds. But I used to be real skinny, like slim, you know? And I started dancing at the age of four on stage. And I, I danced um, 12 years for like three days a week every day. And I was a really good dancer. My parents probably have like tapes of me. But the question that they're asking yeah. is why, why this story? Why do you want this well, story? Well, I've been through tragedies. I've been stabbed. Um, I've been a singer, actress, and dancer my whole life. Um, I've never done anything wrong. I've always been a good person. I have my, my sister, my mom, my dad. You know, I've never done anything to anybody. I'm innocent. Um, let me ask I've never you done this. Wrong. Um, Would you be willing to let me talk to like a caseworker or a therapist or somebody that's worked with you? Right. Do I have your permission to do that? Uh, you have my permission, sir. Okay, cool. That's a deal. Okay. Yeah. Hi, can I get the Jamaican punch? That's it. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. You want a medium or large? A large kids. So tell me this. You were working on like an outline of your life. Where is that outline? Do you have it? Yeah, I have it. Let's pull that out. Okay, it's, um, I don't have the whole thing because I didn't finish the whole thing. Like, I've been really tired lately going to meetings and stuff. A meeting, so I didn't finish the whole thing. You know what Let's I mean? Let's see what you got, but you do have not a that, book. It's not in there. It's, it should be in here. It's in here. Hold on. I wrote it down. It's in here somewhere. I got a bunch of stuff. That, you can read this whole thing if you want to on your own. You know what I mean? Just so you can read the whole thing, you know what I mean? So what is read. this? What If I read it, what would um, it be? This whole thing is like a journal and different stories and songs and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But so where, where did you write down your timeline? It's right here. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. 
If I could find it. <laughs> I wrote it down, but it's like, um, yeah, they took my um, timeline or something. Like, it's not in here. Like, I think they read it. Like, they took it out of my book right here. I mean, I could write it again. I don't mind doing that. I only got it to like seventh grade. You know what I mean? I think you need to write it again. I will. This notebook, these pens, what's the point of them? Why, I why? need to write my timeline and my story about my life. Okay, so you do that. And then what's this lucky bamboo? It, it is for pretty much um, good luck. And, but you have to yeah. take care of it. You have to yeah. put the water, you have to put water rocks in it. Water rocks. If you neglect it, it dies. Yeah. Don't neglect your project. No, if you I'm care not. about this project, right. take care of that plant. Okay. 